play for the, play with their ears as opposed to quote the mechanics of the instrument. And I think that's a great thing. I think it allows them to hear themselves much better. But that was a little freaky for them to start. And I think once they settled into that, they recognize it. Oh, we can use this, you know. And and it's pretty much what we've already always done, but really zeroing in on, on our ears, the pitch of your ears. I think they don't really do. Um, I thought the high notes came out a lot easier. Um, and I don't know if it's supposed to, but I thought they were um, yeah, I thought the sound of the band was a lot fuller, um, and a little louder too, like more projected. Okay. I feel like my sound becomes clean, so it was better. Um, it was, it took a lot less air, mm -hmm. which is nice, and so it was more in tune. Um, I definitely think it'd be interesting to try some more, but I think yeah. one thing that I kind of noticed is for like maybe brass at least, it felt easier to connect the partials. The overtones, it's easy to see like on. especially in chords, the overtones are very in tune, especially with it on. Um, and in jazz playing, I notice, you know, it's a lot easier, like he said, um, to play like from the high register, it's easier to connect it all the way down to the yep. low register. There's no like, uh, that where, like that kind of gives out, kind of in the middle, it's easier to connect. Um, and yeah, really just, I think, like chords and they were a lot more in tune and just a lot fuller as well. Mm -hmm.